morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told, out of voice for radio. So today, well, I've got some good news for you, ladies and gentlemen. You see, a little while ago, I told you that the next V Battle decks would be featuring Gardevoir and Victini. And we've been waiting very patiently to see what they are, to see what's in them, to get the deck list, so to speak. Well, the wonderful news today is that we have those deck lists, ladies and gentlemen. We know exactly what's in them. Well, that's maybe not strictly true. We have a pretty good idea of exactly what's in them. There may be one or two little things to worry about. I'll explain nicely as we go along. But today, we do get to look at those deck lists. And that is a good thing because, honestly, I've been wanting to see these... I have been extremely curious. Shout out does need to be given out to the people who actually helped me to find them. And that is the lovely Alpha Tyrant TCG. So we might as well start off with Gardevoir because, I don't know, we're starting off with Gardevoir. And you know at this stage we get one copy of the relevant V. And do remember that Gardevoir V is an alternate art reprint of the Gardevoir that came around in Champion's Path. It saw a little bit of early success over in Japan. It has not proven to be a particularly great card, but you do get a copy of it in here, which is kind of nice. Now, we do then get a free to Granbull line. Incidentally, this is where things get slightly awkward. Now, for Granbull, we know that it's a Granbull from Darkness Ablaze, because Granbull is the only Granbull in the Sword and Shield era. But there might be a couple here where we don't know exactly which ones they are. So we will give our best guess if that does end up being the case. This Gramble, unfortunately, is not a particularly inspiring Pokemon. Two energy, 50 damage, and stop them retreating. It, it's not exactly perfect. Now, we do have a 2-2 Clefable line here. And this makes me a little bit happier. Now... It could be the one from Rebel Clash, or it could be the one from Vivid Voltage. The one from Rebel Clash lets you get rid of an energy when you evolve it. The one from Vivid Voltage says that once during your turn, if your active Pokemon has any psychic energy attached, you may heal 20 damage from it, and it recovers a special condition. Given the nature of Gardevoir and this being kind of a healing deck, and given that that's the more recent, I am assuming... It is the Clefable from Vivid Voltage. I cannot be 100% sure until we actually see somebody opening these decks. But I feel pretty confident it is the one from Vivid Voltage. Which has got a nice healing ability. So you know what? I am absolutely okay with this. We've then got a free free two line of Dragapult. Now, there is only one possibility here. Because we've only had the one Dragapult. It was the one from Rebel Clash. And I like this one. If any damage would be done to it, flip a coin. If heads, that damage doesn't happen. And then for two energy, 120 to the active, and three damage counters to spread around your opponent's bench. I've always been a big fan of this since it came out. And fine, it's not actually ended up being a particularly great card. It's not seen a huge amount of success. But I don't really care, ladies and gentlemen. I like this very much indeed. I like getting a free free 2 list. That makes me pretty gosh darn happy. It is worth pointing out that in Rebel Clash, this was only a hollow. And it is very, very unlikely to be a hollow here. So it looks like we do have a, a nice little non-hollow exclusive here, which is kind of cool. And then to finish off, we do have a couple copies of Hall Lucha, which, I mean, it's got to be the one from Rebel Clash. But also, we see this quite a lot. This is the draw Pokemon. Whoever puts these decks together over at TPCI is pretty good at this. They do tend to make sure we got a draw Pokemon in these decks for when we're playing them out of the box. Hulucha for one colorless energy lets you shuffle your hand into your deck and draw five cards. So that's kind of cool here. Honestly, I think the star of this deck is the Dragapult. I think it is the best card. And I also think having the what looks to be an exclusive non-holo is very, very cool indeed. 
Moving over into the trainers then, we got one copy of BD that lets you attach an extra energy. Sees a little bit of play here and there. We've got two copies of Dan. It is a lovely draw card, but it does depend on rock, paper, scissors, so it doesn't see a huge amount of play. We've got two copies of Evolution Incense to search out your evolutions. That is a cool card that sees a bunch of play. Two copies of Great Ball that can search out your Pokemon. Again, sees a bunch of play. Two copies of Gym Trainer. Now, this again is unfortunately a card that does not see a huge amount of play. It's only actually just been released. It came out in Shining Fates. You draw two cards, and if any of your Pokemon were knocked out by damage during your opponent's last turn, you draw two more cards. It's cool, but it's not really good enough and doesn't see a huge amount of play. We do see a full four copies of Hop. It is your generic draw-free card supporter. And we don't particularly like it. Because frankly, ladies and gentlemen, there are just way better supporters out there. Two copies of Level Ball. Bearing in mind that's just had a reprint. Let's you search for Pokemon with 90 HP or less. It is great. And to be fair, there is good Pokemon search in this particular deck. We've then got one copy of Potion. Again, that helps to... Further my prediction, it is the Healing Clefable, because this is a healing kind of deck. Two copies of Professor's Research. Now, this is a great card that sees a huge amount of play. It is awesome that we're going to be getting it in this particular deck. Likely to be Lysander, if I'm honest with you, because that is the more recent one. That is the one that tends to be coming around, though we cannot be absolutely certain of it just yet. We've then got one copy of Sonya, which will search out your Pokemon slash energy. It's a cool card that sees a little bit of play here and there. And we've got two copies of Switch, which is a very important card that sees a huge amount of play in basically every deck. It's amazing. And then just a single copy of Suspicious Food Tin, which, I mean, it's healing, right? And that's good. We like healing. So it's kind of cool that we got some more healing here. It is a deck which seems to be pre-made for a little bit of healing. And I'll be honest with you, ladies and gentlemen, I kind of like it. That seems pretty cool to me. Moving over into the Victini deck. I've made this point a couple of times, but it really does bear repeating. It is the good Victini that is being reprinted. That is to say the one from Sword and Shield. Remember that Victini V Max has recently proven itself to be a very, very good deck. It is looking like it may well be one of the best decks in the format moving forward. And this is the Victini V you want to play. Yes, there was a new one in Battle Styles. No, we don't particularly care. We very much want this one. Only one copy of it, but that's still kind of cool. Now, we do have a 3-3-2 free, free line of Cinderace here. And this one is a little bit more awkward to predict. Because we've actually got the Cinderace from Sword and Shield. The other Cinderace from Sword and Shield. And the other Cinderace from Sword and Shield. There were, in fact... Free Cinderace that came around in Sword and Shield. And whereas with the Clefable, we could look at it and go, well, there's a bunch of healing here. That seems to make a whole bunch of sense. I don't know if we can necessarily say that here. The Libero one is the best of the three. So cross your fingers, it's that one. And given that it was a decent Dragapult with a good ability, I'm hoping that's going to be the case here. But the fact of the matter is, as it stands at the moment, we don't actually know. Not until these get cracked. I am hoping it is the Libero one. But this is what I was saying about a moment ago, whereby we cannot always perfectly predict from the back of the box. Because in, and it is only a couple cards in the entire deck, but there are a couple of times where we can't be quite certain. Now, Nine Tails could be the one from either Sword and Shield or Rebel Clash. Sword and Shield accelerates an energy while doing damage. Rebel Clash takes advantage of special conditions. But given that we don't have a whole bunch of special conditions here, I'm inclined to think it is probably the one from Sword and Shield. Help get your energy into play, especially given the fact that we do have that Victini that does more damage based on how much energy is out there. 
So that would lead me to believe it is, in fact, the Sword and Shield Ninetales. Bearing in mind these decks do tend to be... Well, they tend to be a little bit themed nowadays. So if we've got a Pokemon that needs a lot of energy on the field in order to be able to attack, these generally, and there's no guarantee, but it generally ends up being that we get the nine tails that accelerate energy, though we cannot be certain just from the back of the box. We are getting ourselves a Turtonator here as well, and this is definitely the one from Sword and Shield. It is the only option. 4 energy, 150 discard, 2 energy. It's a lot of damage if you're playing the theme decks against each other. But it's not a particularly great Turtonator in and of itself. There is a 2-1 Chinchino line. And I love this. Because we've only actually got one Chinchino in the format at the moment. So this has got to be the Chinchino from Sword and Shield. And this Chinchino from Sword and Shield is a phenomenal card. With that phenomenal ability that lets you discard a card from your hand and draw two cards. Getting a 2-1 line of that in here. Absolutely brilliant. And I love it. And then we got ourselves a couple copies of Chatot. And there is an outside chance. It is the one from Rebel Clash. That lets you grab a supporter card back when you bench it. I'm inclined to think it is the one from Vivid Voltage. That lets you search for two basic energy cards. Purely because, well... It's your two at the end. It's the one that matches all Lucha. It is the single energy basic help you get set up card in this particular deck. So although I can't be certain, I would guess it is the one from Vivid Voltage. I do apologize that there are a couple Pokemon here where we are having to do a little bit of guesswork. Because we don't exactly know which version of the card it is. But we're working on the best information that we've got right now. And like I say, I do feel pretty confident about most of my predictions here. Now, moving over into the trainer line. And what we see here is very, very similar. We've again got BD, though there are two copies here rather than one. We've got ourselves two copies of Dan for a little bit of draw. We've got one copy of Evolution Incense rather than the two, which is a little sad. That's a good card. We got two copies of Great Ball. We got two copies of Gym Trainer. We got four copies of Hop. We got two copies of Level Ball. We then add in two copies of Milo, which is not a card we tend to see very often at all. It is, I think, to be polite, not one of the best supporter cards around. But it lets you discard up to two cards from your hand and draw two for each card discarded in this way. So it's a little bit of draw, and it's not terrible, but, but I'm not particularly loving it. We've then got two copies of Professor's Research, one copy of Sonya, and two copies of Switch, along with all of our energy. Now, I did tell you as well that if you bought the double pack, you would also get yourself a bunch of extra trainers, and that is exactly what you get, including two foil Professor's Research, which we are assuming is Professor's Research Juniper, because, like I've said, these decks do tend to go... A little bit more recent when they can. Also, I'm pretty sure I talked about Boss's Orders Lysander earlier. I blatantly meant Professor's Research Juniper, but there would have been a there would have been a note on the screen to correct myself when I said it. And this is cool. The last X had Foil Boss's Orders Lysander. So again, the more recent version of it. I'm assuming this is two foil juniper, and I love it. We do also get ourselves two copies of Boss's Orders here, which is really cool. Because it's a supporter card that drags Pokemon off the bench. It is one of the best supporters in the game. It's played in every deck. Two copies of Marnie, supporter card that makes both players shuffle their hand and put them on the bottom of their deck. Whoever played it gets five new cards. The other player gets four. Great supporter card played in every deck. And two copies of Quick Ball that lets you search out a basic Pokemon. And again, all four of these extra cards in the double pack, these are proper job full-on staples. Professor's Research, Boss's Orders, Marnie, Quick Ball. These are played in every single deck, bar a couple of very, very rare exceptions. So this is extremely cool that we're going to be getting them in here. The deck list as a whole are fine, not spectacular. There are cool things in there. 
They're not amazing. The Victini is the better of the two because you get Victini and because you get that 2-1 Chinchino line. I do think that is extremely cool and it's going to help out a bunch of decks beyond just these. So if you want to pick one of them up or you want to get one of them as a present, the Victini one is very much the one to go for. It's got the better V and it's got the Chinchino in there as well. Honestly, if you're going to pick them up, I would suggest getting the double pack. Partly because you get eight staple supporters and that's kind of cool. Or trainer cards. But also because those foil professors research, the Juniper, they're very cool. And I don't think they're out there. I could be wrong. But now, ladies and gentlemen, I want to know what you think about this. I want to know, well, anything you want to tell me, quite frankly. So go nuts in the comment section, but be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash PTCG Radio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all that good stuff, head on over to patreon.com slash PTCG Radio, where you can do exactly that. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.